All right, kids. Today at Louisiana Beer Reviews, we are looking at a Paps APA. Yeah. Something tells me this is not like Paps Blue Ribbon, even okay. though it's a red, white, and blue, but not a blue ribbon. Some kind of a flag, flag, Obama shape flag. I'm not keen on the design of this can too much, but oh well. Yeah. It came out in 2018. It's an American Pale Ale. They claim I found it. I don't like anything that's gonna gonna try to delve into some kind of politicalness. I mean, what well, you're saying that that may have nothing to do with that. Well, um, some folks can respond to that. Talk about yourselves, kids. I never once thought that it was pertain to any particular president. Um, well, why would it be shaped like that? I don't know. Uh, Somebody said they thought it looked like a girl stored at an apartment at a mall. Like a, teen, a young teenage girl stored at a mall. But, um, what? Yeah, they said it looked like a young teenage girl's clothing store at the mall. That's what they said. Uh, so, the design of the can is kind of, mm, okay. it's only sold in cans and on draft. Uh, no, no bottles. It came out in 2018. It's 5.5 percent alcohol, and it's contract brewed by La Crosse, Wisconsin's uh, City Brewing. Mm. But Paps doesn't really have their own brewery, so everything they make is contract brewed. <laughs> Pretty much everything. So basically, beer is being sold in Paps' name. Like many liquor, wine, and beer companies, they pay other people to do. The recipes they develop and that's very common in the whiskey and spirits world it's a deal you no know, overhead yeah you just you're a brand holder mm. and you market the product but you don't produce it mm. although paps has started a little pilot brewery in milwaukee again and they just came out with a chocolate beer they were putting on their web page the other day Probably not going to be sold around here, but it's a chocolate beer. All righty then. Frothy Head. This is a revisit for both of us because, yeah. cheers, we've had it. You've had it, I've had it. And this was $5.99 on a four pack. You reviewed it. I yeah. verbally reviewed it with you. Correct. And you were going to mention Old Tankard Ale. It's got a little Old Tankard smell to it. That was a much richer, stronger. It was a richer, it was the ESB classic English extra special bitter style. It had uh, a lot of body to it, caramelization inside of it. It was like a nut brown ale. It was just very good. I'm getting this out. Um, a little bit of the old tanker nail in this smell. And I'm thinking it's probably because maybe this is probably the same yeast and maybe the same design, just not as heavy. Yeah, not, just not brought into a, such a marriageization of a, of, a, of a really good, I know, not a word, of, of a really good beer. In other words, it's dialed back. Yeah, I think so. Um, but if you smell it, and if y'all have ever had the old tankard ale, pick this up and just kind of smell it. It does smell a little bit like old tankard. I'm going to go ahead and taste and see how much it does When taste. I think of American pale ales, I think of things like Oscar Blues, Dale's Pale Ale, and Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. You know, those are like the two hallmarks in America. And I'm getting that slight old tankerness to it. So to me, this is like a light version of old tankered ale rather than a Paps. It's, you know, you got to get Paps Blue Ribbon out of your mind when you're doing this. Oh, of course. Then it shouldn't say Paps on it. Yeah, because that's the first thing you're going to think. the name of the company. Right. right. That's the first thing you're going to think. Well, we just, we just drank another beer. It didn't say Budweiser on it. That's the first thing you think when you see this. Uh, wow, this might taste a little bit like Paps, Paps Blue, Blue Ribbon. Ribbon. And it's far from a Paps Blue Ribbon. Yeah, well. It's kind of like a light 
version of Old Tinkerdale. Back in the 1970s, he used to make a Pabst Bach, which mm -hmm. was a brown lager, which I've never seen. Well, of course, it was discontinued when I was probably 15 years old. Um, now, in the 90s, they used to make a Pabst Ice, which I have cans of. I tried that. And they made, but that didn't last, and they made a Pabst Genuine Draft, hmm. which they, Miller must have got on their case because they tried to almost make the can look identical to MGD. That was a good one, but it didn't last. So they're, they're trying again. Here they are 20 years later trying to do some other little variants. The old Tankerdale didn't do too well, or they just had planned to make it a limited thing anyway. It may not have ever been intended to be long-term. This one, you probably won't see it too many months from now. Probably not. Um, there was that Paps. It doesn't have that wow effect to it. It's not one of those like, oh, wow, this is really tasty. I got to try it. It's got a classic English-style pale ale. English, see? Right. They say an APA. I think they should have called it EPA. Right. It's, it's English. It's, it's, an, it's, it's got a classic English-style to it. It doesn't take anything like Sierra Nevada or... Oscar it's probably Lewis. an old recipe that they had hanging around. They said, hey, let's bring this out. Put a little excitement out there. Probably a promotion for their PBR brand. Some pale ale they might have had 80 or 90 years ago. Perhaps. I mean, you know, they're step out in, this, in the other markets. Well, let's I guess try not, to get some other folks to try it. I guess not 90 years ago since they had Prohibition then, but 80 years ago. Well, to me, their past Blue Ribbon is, is, is a wonderful beer. It's, yeah, it's, we are to review that one. It's, it's, it's really good. It's, it's one of, to me, it's better than Budweiser or Earl Miller. Oh. But that's, that's me. This has a little citrus in it, a little white bread crust, like Wonder Bread, and um, the body is... I know you're medium. searching on that citrus. No, I'm getting, getting, getting citrus, and there's a medium body, and it's a pretty crisp finish. Uh, I like the lacing on here. Um, I mean, I'm not going to go out and pay $5.99 for a four-pack of this all the time. I bought it because it just came out. My friend Tanya, you saw she was riding around with me when she visited. She didn't like it. She said it had a weird un aftertaste. She said, I don't like the aftertaste. I said, man, I wish I had my video camera rolling right now, but we weren't recording. I didn't get an aftertaste, though. I didn't get that either. I don't know what she was talking about, but she just said it had a weird aftertaste. Maybe she was chewing bubble gum. I don't think she was chewing gum. She just didn't like it. <laughs> Y'all had some weird food, I mean. We didn't eat till after we went to the brewery, so none of those factors came into play. She doesn't really have too her her taste in beer is doesn't really line up too close to mine. Although she has interesting videos that she makes. Um I think well, I'm gonna let you give the rating first, but I know what I'm gonna say. I give it a B. Like I said, it's not really wowing me anything. It's almost like a lighter version of Tanker Down. I'm going to say A-. minus. I mean, I think it's got a lot of good flavors. I don't think there's anything weird, wanky, or off about it. It's pleasant to drink. I mean, $1.50 a can, I'm not too sure about that price point. But, I mean, I'd probably rather drink past Blue Ribbon, but then that's a whole lot cheaper. So, I mean, you know, I like that beer. It's, I would recommend it. I, I would say definitely don't pass it up. Try it because you're probably not going to see it in a year. That's just the way I feel about it. I'm saying A minus, you're saying B. So it's a solid B. You preferred, so I'm saying like a 91 out of 100, you're saying 85 out of 100. You preferred the, the I'm natural. Put a number on it. I like I'm to put the numbers now. Uh, you, you would rather drink the natural ice over this though. Yes. Yeah. Got to call them like you see them. You might rather drink the Old English over this. But the best beer is free beer. Uh, unless it's Earthquake or Camo. <laughs> then you would pay the people not to give it to you. I swear, go to a racetrack and buy a can of Earthquake and you're going to agree with what I'm saying. You will pay... They should pay you to get it. You, you know, in other words, you go to racetrack, they should pay you to take it out of cooler. Mm -hmm. It's like, you just can't. I don't know, you can't believe it. <laughs> but it's true. And I made a mistake and drank Four loco the day of the Super Bowl. Oh, man. Did you watch 
watch your Super Bowl. I remembered parts of it. I did not watch your Super Bowl. Moving on. Yeah, well, talking about politics. All right, so we still think it's a good beer. I mean, a B is a good score, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to go on to something else. Passes. passes. All right, so laissez les bon temps relay up. Good, you're saying, I'm saying excellent beer. We're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. I'll get out the chair.